Howdy state of the browser, thanks for having me, happy to be here. A quick warning before we start, as well as having some creative content, there's also some experimental things and a bunch of motion, so just be aware. But without further ado, this is Speedy Dev Insights Volume 1 for State of the Browser. I'm Jay Tompkins, a developer relations engineer at Google, and this is going to be a series of micro presentations about things coming to the web platform. It's really hard to cram all of this into short videos. So for things like spec links and extra info, do come and find me and ask some questions. Shall we get on with it? Here we go. Much like Dom Toretto's family has grown, the number of ways in which you're going to be able to target elements with CSS is also about to grow. Let's talk about CSS has not just a parent selector, but a family selector. And support for this is almost there. This is how it looks. You target some element based on a condition. And that condition could be a number of things, whether it has a particular child, a distant sibling. You've really got to break the mental model. Instead of thinking downwards with the cascade, you can now also go up and to the side and in various directions. And it's use cases for days. For example, you could change a layout based on the presence of some element. Less need for class name toggling and classes that describe structure. Let's do a speedy walkthrough of CSS has by adding color hinting to this form. Here's the markup for our form. We won't be changing this or tweaking class names. The important part here is we have a div with the class form group wrapping an input and a label. Hop to our styles and we're using a cascade layer demo and scope custom properties under our form group to pass a color to our label and our input. Update the color to hot pink and you'll see it reflected in the demo. Where does has fit in? Well, we can say when the form group has a valid input, then change the color to a valid color. And now when our input becomes valid, the color changes. And we can take this further by writing the other states. And now we have the other states, like focus and invalid. Just be mindful of the cascade. Here I want valid to override focus. A quick shuffle and all's good. And you can take it further too. I've modified the markup to split our label and I've introduced a new cascade layer whimsy to show other ways we could use has. Now our label does a little wave when it's valid, but you could also do a dom blocks or shake when it isn't. Remember, no class names were changed here. And you can throw loads at has. How about powering your site's dark mode toggle with it? You could even build a calendar picker. It's all just HTML and CSS and all the states are powered by has. It's a table wrapped in a form and each cell has radio buttons. But it's a great example of how much you can push has. You could also use CSS has to power your own connect for. It's all checkboxes and labels and using has to show certain elements depending on certain conditions. Or use it to answer age old questions by powering CSS animations. If wood has a sibling chuck, then it gets chucked. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I guess not all of it. That's pretty lit. Much like CSS has. Check it out. 